Same problem led the city to shut down Coronado Park. Reporter Alyssa Munoz went to the Bel Air Park to see what's happening there. It's a huge problem. It's not a small problem. Mike Barreto says he's lived in this neighborhood for the last 40 years. Recently, he's noticed tents are starting to go up. I won't let my granddaughter play in this park. Uh, there's there's too many needles. Uh, drug use is rampant. Uh, uh, feces along the wall. Uh, it, it's crazy, and it's it's sad that this park has been given up to the people that don't don't uh, don't care. Carts set up, tents line across the wall, and trash lining the sidewalks and people hanging out. Just last year, the city of Albuquerque closed Coronado Park because of homeless encampments like this, and now that cycle is continuing here at Bel Air Park. And we're frustrated as a community that the park can't be what it's supposed to be. So we call 311, file our complaints. We call 242 cops, file our complaints, and some of these camps behind me have been here for over a week now and nothing seemed to be getting done. District Attorney Sam Bregman says he's fed up too. I, I'm done with the homeless encampments. I don't think it's fair to the homeless. I don't think it's fair to the community. I don't think it's fair when it comes to fighting crime to just let homeless encampments pop up wherever they want and not being able to do anything about it. At the same time, I do believe that we need to focus on long-term housing, but also short-term. We need to make sure we provide enough beds for anybody that is experiencing homelessness. Reporting in Albuquerque, Alyssa Munoz, KWT Action 7 News. We reached out to the mayor's office, Parks and Rec, and Albuquerque police to ask what they plan to do about it. The mayor wasn't available this evening, and in a statement, Parks and Rec officials said this. The Parks and Recreation Department works closely with multiple departments to move illegal encampments. Construction at Bel Air will begin in a few weeks to not only create a dog park, but also add fencing and more lighting, improving visibility park safety.